What's up guys, Zachary Gomez here today, bringing you another workout that you can do whenever you have time. And today I really wanted to talk about how um, our busy and hectic lifestyles can kind of get in the way of fitness. And that's why I bring up the time thing, because lately I've been really um, busy with a lot of work. Um, outside of my normal job, I've been working on photography and videography, um, and that can be really taxing on the body and it also can just take away from the time that I want to devote towards health and fitness. But health and fitness is a priority to me, and I really can't let that slip too far because I noticed that once I start slacking in the gym, slacking with nutrition, my overall energy goes down and I'm not able to actually do the other things that I want to do at, at the best potential, at my full potential. So I want to talk a little bit about the book that I'm reading, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And in the book, James talks about how it's important that every day we do a little bit of something to get towards our goals and, and setting those small goals to ultimately reach where we want to be. And by doing that, we're actually rewiring the neural circuits in our brain to have a more positive mindset and a more belief that we can actually achieve the goals that we want to achieve. So maybe as it relates to fitness, maybe you have a goal of doing 100 push-ups in a day. Um, you're not going to get there just by saying that you're going to do it one day and just waking up and doing it. Not only are you not going to have the strength, you're just not going to have the motivation. And if you fail, you're more likely to, to never stop start doing it again. So as opposed to doing 100 in one day, start by doing one push-up and just continuously doing that day in and day out, building up a positive mindset to ultimately get you to that 100 push-ups. Um, so today I brought my brother Zane and we're gonna take you through um, a back workout that's focused on flexibility as well as getting some cardio in too. And we're gonna give you some tips along the way. Um, so without further ado, let's get to this workout. You should come rolling my shotgun. So we're starting our warm up out with a back extension on a BOSU ball, and we're going to use a bench to stabilize um, our bodies as we as we go down and extend back up, and really start to warm up our lower back here. So what Zane is doing is putting his feet under a, a bench. He's kind of following down, so he can actually fall down a little bit far further. Zane, there you go. Come back up, hold for a couple seconds. Get that get that workout in the lower back here. Go down, back up. Perfect. Um, this is really going to start to get his lower back engaged for the workout that we have coming up, which we're going to focus on deadlifts, which is an overall body movement, but really going to focus on our back as well as our legs. So let's do 10 reps of these and then we'll go to the next warm-up exercise. So the next warm-up we're going to do is going to use either a smart stick or another type of just barbell or bar. And we're going to do a bent over um, good morning and we're going to bring it down to our toes, bring it back up in a fluid motion over our heads and then back down. We're gonna drop our elbows down and get a stretch in our pecs, pulling our lats backwards. Back up, drop it down again to the floor. And then in a fluid motion, drop your elbows up, bar to the sky, pull it back down. We're gonna do 10 of these. Okay, so the next warm up we're gonna do is called a bird dog or also known as a quadruped. You're gonna be on all fours. Um, you're gonna drive your shoulder blades back again, tighten the core up, and we're going to extend our right arm and our left leg at the same time. So or you can do them either on your knees or how Zane's doing them. And Zane, if you wanna bring your butt down just a little bit, perfect. He's gonna really tighten that core and get that warmed up. I'm gonna do them on my knees for you guys. So now we're on to our main movement of this whole workout exercise routine, which is the deadlift. We're gonna be using a trap bar. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna give us a little bit different of a, of, of a grip variation on, on our traditional deadlift. And we're also using a resistance band on the inside of this to add a little bit more resistance on the way up um, and build a little bit more of explosive power. So I'm gonna have Zane step in here. Step on the band. And we're just starting with the weight that's around 45 to 50% of his uh, max. Um, and we're gonna do a total of eight reps. So go ahead and grab the bar. Now you're gonna start here. Um, you're gonna wanna bring your shoulder blades back and your chest up. You're gonna tighten that core and you're gonna have your, you don't want your knees to go over your toes. So brace yourself just like this and come up, explode up, extend that hip through, push the hip through 
and then it dropped back down in a controlled motion. The next two exercises are gonna be a superset. We're gonna start off here with this rope pull. Um, we're gonna focus on getting in a squat position and then we're gonna pull one hand over the other, squeezing our lat as we pull each time. So I'm gonna have Zane go to the other end of this rope. We have about a 75 pound sandbag here. He's gonna pull it as fast as he can, run back with the rope and then pull it the other way and repeat four times total. So immediately following the rope pull, he's gonna come over here to a lat pull down. His hands are shoulder width apart. He's gonna pull down um, explosively, and then he's gonna let, his, let the bar up slowly, four seconds. One, two, three, four. So now we're moving on to our biceps, and we're gonna do two supersets. The first superset, we're gonna start off with this exercise, which is the TRX suspension bicep curl. So we have Zane here grabbing onto the TRX bands. He's going to lean back, put his feet a little bit in front of him, lean back, and he's gonna get, keep his elbows high. And he's gonna curl in, and then four seconds negative, just like we've been doing. Two, three, four, curl in. One, two, three, four, 10 reps here. So immediately after the TRX curl, we're going to move it to a cable um, easy bar curl, where Zane's gonna do the same thing with the negative. He's gonna do four second negative, 10 reps again. Really focusing on putting a lot of strain on this bicep here. You can notice his veins popping here. So the first exercise in our second and last final superset for our biceps is going to be a hammer curl. Zane, if you'll do your hammer curls, the same thing here. We're going to go up and then we're going to come down in a negative four seconds. Up, squeeze to the top, down. We have 10 reps here. Okay, and the final exercise of the day and for our biceps, last exercise of the, of the superset is going to be a reverse grip curl with a easy bar. And this particular exercise is gonna hit our biceps, but it's also gonna hit our forearms and um, it's gonna end the workout in a really good way. So Zane, if you go ahead and do that, 10 reps here and we'll do this four times, four sets here and we're done for the day. So that was it, that was the workout for today. And again, I wanna encourage you just, just to do some type of exercise every day, be consistent with your fitness. Um, like I said, I, I oftentimes find myself having very little time to work out and it's important for me to, to keep my health in check and to work out on a regular basis. So today I was able to do a little bit, um, I was also trying to record so I didn't get to do a full workout, but the most important thing is I came to work out I came to spend some time with my brother and together we did get to work out and we did, you know, by doing that, we, we progressed in our, in our goals. So be consistent, do something every day, stay on track with your nutrition and just care for yourself, practice some self care and don't, and don't um, be discouraged if you miss a day here and there, jump right back on the next time.